Hey guys, it's just a quick video on my SPX 9006, uh, which is the same as the 9004, but this originally came on a cart with a reel. Um, I've since taken it off, but the machines I th think are identical. Um, so this video is just about this pressure switch that I added to it um, to give it like a trigger on off activation. Um, I originally had this set up with a remote that kind of controlled the outlet so I'd be turning it on and turning it off and I find myself having to replace the battery in that remote quite often um, enough for it to be annoying. Um, I've had this pressure washer for um, about two years now and I've probably replaced it three or four times. Um, so I went and looked into the process of how I could do it. Um, there was a lot of trial and error. Um, so originally how you would set this up is you would buy a 3 8 pressure switch, um, attach it here on the unloader, and then have that connect to your power that's in here. But the issue with that is the threading and the size on this is slightly different from 3 8 MPT standard. Um, I can't recall if this is slightly smaller or it's slightly larger, but I think the pattern and like the thread size is slightly smaller than the standards. And so when I bought those pressure switches, they didn't work. And what I did from there is I bought a T connector and the T connection uh, went from like a split with a coupler that attached a 3 8 pressure switch. And then the other end would go into my uh, Cox Reels like connection here, which is also 3 8 um, That was large, and then I also ran into issues with the pressure uh, activation. So pressure switches, each one will have like a rating <clears throat> for the PSI of activation, and so that'll be when, based on how you wire it, whether it's on or off with a specific threshold. And so what I did with the, what I've done with this one is this is a 580 PSI activation pressure switch that's hooked up to originally a, a coupler that I had for uh, my pressure gauge here. So this is actually instead of a 3 8 uh, it's a quarter inch and this is a lot less this hookup is a lot less bulky than I had it before. Um, I'll most likely stick with this. I might end up buying another one of these pieces here so I can get my pressure switch back in but it's just it's just gonna be this long thing um, I'd like to avoid that but this is a 580 uh, PSI pressure switch and then it's hooked up the wiring that's in here and it's essentially between the this switch and which is has power feeding through it and uh, the motor um, I can do a separate video uh, for a tutorial if others are interested, but um, for now I had some questions on if there's lag and things like that, so, uh, and the performance. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Um, you're going to hear it most likely turn on and then turn off after it's hit the 580 PSI threshold to turn this off. So there it goes, turns off. So I have uh, this feeding in from my garden hose uh, going out to uh, the reel and then the reel's coming back over here to my gun. Uh, here's my fitting. Let me get this on with one hand. And you'll see that, like you'll probably hear it kick on, but So there's, there's no lag with it. Um, this is a 25 degree. Um, and I also have the 40 degree. Um, and this doesn't change anything. Uh, it still works fine. And let me try to get both of them in so you can see when it turns on as opposed to and uh, when I'm pulling the trigger, so.
yeah, there's not much delay with it. It's been working pretty well. I've had this set up for about two, three weeks now. I haven't gotten that much use. Um, I haven't gotten that much use out of it yet, um, but the pressure switch is, I think it was like $30 or something like that. And this I kind of just had lying around, but if you don't have it, you'll have to get one of those, but it's definitely worth the upgrade. Um, it saves a lot of headache, especially when you're doing wheels and you're ha constantly having to turn it on and off. Um, I know some people don't really mind it, but it's gotten pretty tedious to have to deal with. Um, so if there's some interest, uh, I might do a separate uh, tutorial on that, but yeah, that's the pressure switch that I have hooked up to my uh, Sunjo SPX 9006.